I am Sarah from Mind Body Love here with Alexi from the Type A Health Coach. We're going to show you how to make overnight oats, which is a very simple breakfast item that you can make in advance. Very good for after a workout. As New Yorkers, it's very hard to go and get breakfast, very hard to make things that are easy to take with you. You can make this on a Sunday. You have four of them. You can make five, probably depending on which ingredients you put inside. So we're going to take you through all the steps starting with the milk. You can use coconut milk, almond milk, regular milk, whichever milk you want to use, but we're going to use almond milk today. So you're going to start with a mason jar. If you have a Tupperware, you can also use that. This is going to make one serving. So you're going to start with the quick oats, which you can buy at Whole Foods or any health food store, probably just at a regular grocery store too. So you're going to take half a cup, put it into the jar, and be careful for little strays falling everywhere. And just get that even in the bottom. And then you're going to take the almond milk, and you can buy any brand, but try to get organic. So you're going to take one cup, pour that into the oats, and you don't need to worry about stirring anything because you're just going to shake it up at the end. So next. There's a bunch of different ingredients that you can use. We have cherries, bananas, chia seeds, pomegranate, and cacao nibs, and cocoa flakes. And then you're also gonna put in cinnamon, which all of this is optional, and a little bit of maple syrup. So we're gonna start with the banana. So it's about a half a banana. You can use a little less if you want. You're just gonna dump that in. And I like to save a little bit for the top of it. And then you're gonna put the cherries in. These are frozen cherries. You can use fresh cherries, you can use strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, really anything you want. And you're just gonna dump those in. These are frozen cherries. So you've got all those in there. Then you're gonna put chia seeds in, one tablespoon. And then, as well as the banana, you're going to put the pomegranate and the cacao nibs and the coconut on the side for at the end. Cinnamon, you're going to put, I like to just do a few shakes, but depending on how much you like it or if you don't like it, you don't have to use it. It's probably a fourth of a tablespoon, or a fourth of a teaspoon, sorry. So next you're going to put the maple syrup. You're going to use about a tablespoon, so let's just dump this in here. You can use a little bit less, depends on your taste. If you want it a little sweeter, use a little more. And then you're just going to dump that in there. Okay, and then you're just going to take the cap, stick it on there, and shake it. Very, very simple. So just give it a good shake, and then what you're gonna do is stick it in the refrigerator. You can, you can do this at night, so you put this in the fridge, and in the morning you have your breakfast. So once it's finished in the morning, you're just gonna put these other ingredients on here. And you can put them however you want, just, it makes it look pretty, so you don't even have to do that. Just stick them on the top, and it's nice if you make them as a gift. I like to give these to my clients as presents, and then you can make it look nice and pretty. These on top. And then the finished product. There's a lot of good nutrients, good fats, good sugars, good carbs. And, you know, it takes away that time in the morning when you can just go and leave and grab your food. See you later.